With Christmas just around the corner, I'm feeling a bit festive, so I'll use generative fill to turn myself into Santa Claus for my own personal Christmas card. Let's go. All right, we got this weird picture of me doing a peace sign. So what we're going to do, first of all, we'll copy the background layer so we can do some comparing later on. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put a white beard on me here. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to the quick mask and we'll make it its opacity at 25. Make sure your flow is at 100%. We'll go to B for your brush. Make sure you're coloring in black and we'll just go over what we want to change. The mouth here, the beard. All right, so now let's make it longer just to get some extra beard in there. I hit the Q key, make sure we got everything that we want to get. All right, let's go up to generative fill and type in white beard. That was number one, number two, number three. Now, don't worry about the mouth, whether the mouth looks good or not. Let's hit generate one more time. Number one, number two, number three. Well, let's go back. I'm liking this one for myself. So what we'll do now, click on the layer mask and go up to image, apply image. Just hit OK, go to your brush, make sure your flow is about 10%. Now, let's just paint in what we want changed. Make sure you're painting in white. And we'll just go around and we'll color in exactly what we want. There we go. Get the beard in there. One thing to remember is you can color in black and put back exactly what's yours, what's unique to you. So if anything goes wrong, you can always do that and make sure your mouth and everything is perfect the way you like it. Now, one thing to remember is you can unlink the layer mask. Now that we've unlinked the layer mask with the layer itself, we'll hit Control T to transform, we'll right click and go to warp. And up here to grid, we'll make it a five by five grid. Let's make this beard a little bit bushier than it actually is. Remember, it's just a layer that you can mess with and make exactly how you like it. There we go, a little more Santa Claus-like. Hit done. Now let's relink. And there we go. There's the beard, before, after. Okay, starting to look good. What I'd like to do now is create a stamp visible layer of what we got so far. Let's put the white beard and the layer below it in a group. White beard. We can turn that off now. All right, so let's go over and grab our object selection tool and it'll grab me here. So you click on it and we've got our selection. Okay, now that we got the selection, let's invert the selection, Control shift i and in Generative Fill, let's type in Slightly Blurred Christmas Living Room. Enter. And number one is looking good with the tree, number two, and number three. Let's hit Generate one more time. Number one, number two, number three. Number one, spectacular, I love that. All right, so click on the layer mask. I need to clean it up a bit. Make sure you're painting in black, blow about 10%. And let's clean up a little bit what it did here to my hair and stuff around the outside. Just a little bit there. Anything you don't like, let's go back to white. All right, very cool. Let's put these layers into a group and just call it BG for background. Now, step visible layer. Now here, we'll have to draw a Christmas hat, sort of. So let's grab L for our lasso tool. Kind of start in the middle of the forehead and go around and a little bit there and here. 
In general, Phil, let's type in Christmas Santa hat. Christmas Santa hat. Enter. There's number one, number two, number three. I think I like the very first one that we got. There's my hat. So let's put those in a group. Call it Santa hat. It's not visible here. Uh, let's grab a selection using our quick selection tool of my shirt. Hold our alt button down and let's clean that selection up a bit. We just want the shirt. Let's keep this beard going here. All right, now we got our selection. Let's generate a fill, let's type in red Santa Claus suit, enter. There's number one, number two, number three. I'm liking number two on the bottom here. So now let's put those guys in a group. Santa suit. All right, there we go. So we have our background. We have my beard. We have my hat. We have everything we want to look like Santa Claus. So what we'll do is I'll hit a stamp visible layer, make it a smart object. And here's one of my secret weapons that I'll tell you. Let's go to filter, and I use Borsifex optics. So once we're in here, I like to go to film stocks and change it to color films and just go through a couple to get that professional kind of look. The one I'm liking at the moment is the Kodochrome 25. That looks amazing. So let's go file and exit. We'll save our image. Zoom out, and now we've got me all dressed up for Santa Claus. My own personal greeting card. Very cool. Well, there you have it with Generative Phil. Gives me a hat, a beard, a suit, and a great background. There's nothing you can't accomplish in Photoshop. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. I'm Don from Photo911. See you in 2024.